What's up, guys? As you know, this is Sean Dragonhammer with another Wizard 101 video. And guess what? I have good news. Test Realm is live! Booyah! Oh, yeah. Let's get this done. Alright. Let's see what's new in Test Realm. Da -da 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 my goodness, I'm excited. Oh, my God. Get ready to venture into the frozen north of Polaris. So I'm in a Shomni class this year. And guess what? Polaris is the North Star. Bet you didn't know that. Booyah. Bartleby has fallen ill. No! Not Bartleby. And you must seek out the source of his illness before it's too late. Along the way, you'll meet the pe penguin... Penguin... Whatever's. Penguins? Penguins. Penguin... Ah. Currently under the tyrannical rule of Empress Antusket. Ooh. I remember last year in a, uh, Euro European history, AP European history, that we, uh, learned about, uh, Antoinette and Napole Napoleon, and, I mean, not Napoleon, Napoleon, God, what the heck. Join the revolution and find an influence that has driven the empress to such extremes. Ivan the Great, the former circus performer, is your guide to, as you search your, for your for a wizard powerful enough to help you find a source of the foul magic that has fallen upon Bartleby. Alright, so it looks like we're going to find someone to help Bartleby. Since he has fallen ill. Players who have reached level 100 have and have completed the Chrysalis quest, Light and Shadow. I'm assuming this is probably the last quest of Chrysalis. Meet to visit Merle Ambrose to take on the quest, Head of the Class. Ooh, wonder what that's about. Hmm. Those who have completed the required quest will have the badge Child of Light and Shadow. Oh, I have that. Uh, I have that somewhere. Oh yeah, my deck is like all screwed up. Where's all my cards? Where's all my cards? No! Wait. Nope, that didn't work. That didn't do anything. One second. Alright, so I'm gonna be... Those... Uh, Alright, I read that. And the Chrysalis tab of the badges screen. Okay, for Crowns players, Polaris contains five separate premium zones priced at 1,999 crowns. Just just like Winter Tusk and other previous uh, second arc worlds that, I don't know, pretty much had the same pricing. So let's see what Merle Ambrose said. Dear wizard, I have some exciting news. Oh my god. You should come to my office at your earliest convenience. Oh yes, I'm going. Don't worry. What's, what's he... My goodness, you've stumbled onto an area. Oh, you won't go, be go, able go to away, enter Ambrose. that area until the transfer right, is complete. I got complete. it. I got it. I got it, Ambrose. Thank you. All right, so... Reach new heights at level 110. Oh, man. With the in addition of Polaris, wizards can now reach a maximum level of 110 and achieve the title of Prestigious. Ooh. I like exalt Exalted better, but whatever. Training points will be awarded at level 105 and 110. Plus, there will be bonus training points available for the quest in Polaris. That was expected. That was definitely expected. With increased levels also comes increased gold. Woo! For wizards under level 80, the maximum gold is 300,000. For wizards 80 for 90, the maximum gold is 350,000. Then it goes up to 25,000 for 91 for 95. 96 for 100 is 400,000. And now, 101 for 110, the maximum gold is 450,000. Ooh, that's good. Ooh, I like that gold. This also means that level 110 Menchmen are available from the crown shop. Uh, that's pretty cool, but that's not it. That's, that's just not, that's not just it. Learn new Shadow Enhance spell. Woo! Continue your magical studies with the ancient scholars of the Arcanum. Ooh. What's the Arcanum? Hmm. Meet new professors ready to impart their knowledge upon wizards who reach level 108. Ah, oh, the level up eight levels. Probably like million. Like, let's see how much experience. A million. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. And have completed the quest. Story of the Sky Anchor. All right. Miss School's witches house call. 
attacks for 992 to 1132 damage. It summons a myth minion and doesn't attack all. Every spell is 6 pips and plus 1 shadow pip spell. But I think now the shadow pips cost as just as much pips that also is enhanced in the spell. So if it's 6 pips, 1 shadow pip worth 6 pips. So it'll be 12 pips, all to, uh, uh, 12, 12 mana altogether, my bad. So it'll be 12 mana. But we'll get to that later. Let's go see what Merle Ambrose has for us on Polaris. Alright, let's do it. I want to change my pet. I want to change my pet. Just give me a second. I better have a good pet. Yeah, there we go. There we go. <laughs> there you are. Hello, Today Ambrose. Today is an auspicious day. Oh, man. Most auspicious. Okay. It's time we address a matter that is long overdue. Yes, indeed. Oh, what's long overdue, Ambrose? What is it? I remember when you first set out for Unicorn Way. So do I. Bright-eyed and brimming over with potential. Definitely. Oh, seems like just yesterday. Of course, much has happened since then. Yep. The troubles with Malastare and Morgan. Ugh. We've had you traipsing all over the spiral. Ugh. Uh, ugh, those adventures took forever. M Merle Ambrose, you just, you don't know the struggle. Yes, you've done all that was expected and more. The faculty is all in agreement. It's time for your official graduation <laughs> from Ravenwood. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. No, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> be quite an affair. <laughs> Don't delay now. All Mr. Right. Lincoln awaits you in the Cabinet of Wonders. Oh, yes. He will prepare you for the ceremony. Oh, God. Mr. Lincoln, don't make me cry. Don't make me cry. Don't make me cry. <sighs> Hello, Mr. Lincoln. Hello there, young wizard. I hope you're as excited as I am. I can barely keep my reading glasses perched on my bill. Oh my god. Such a landmark occasion. It's not every day we have a graduation ceremony at Ravenwood. In fact, I can't recall the last time it happened. I'm pretty sure it has never happened in this entire game. I've had a cap and gown fitted just for you. Very elegant, I think. Oh, oh I like Come that on, tapestry in the back. Step into the tapestry to reach the ceremony ground. Headmaster Ambrose wants this day to be extra special. Oh yes. Many distinguished guests have come to congratulate you. Let's not keep them waiting. Oh man, look at all these artifacts for other adventures. Oh man, it reminds me. Oh, that's from Celestia. Oh god. Oh man, that's so cool. Alright, let's get in our cap and gown. The gown is made from rich casimir, giving it what? a fine depth and soft luster sheen. And the cap is quite stately. And I'm like, oh, what? Whatever. Oh yes. Graduating! Oh man. Oh man, no. It can't be. Oh, oh man. Oh, it's so great. Where am I? Why am I invisible? Oh god, why am I invisible? Oh man. I must speak to you in the Zocalo. Why is everyone? Welcome, wizard. It is my distinct pleasure to call you before uh, where am I? Bartleby this day uh, to uh, recognize where? your remarkable list of accomplishments. You have not been with us at Ravenwood for very long, yet you have had I've been a here. profound oh my impact God. on the school. Indeed, across the spiral as a whole. I've been here for seven years. All of the esteemed guests who have gathered here today are familiar with your shrewd mind, your heroic spirit, and noble virtue. Oh yeah, oh yeah. None more so than your distinguished teacher, Professor Halston Bailstrom. What does Bailstrom need to say? This is so exciting, remarkable, amazing to see you come so far, so quick, so fast. I almost can't believe it. I can't believe it either. You are a true inventor, an insightful diviner, oh, yeah. and a commander of the storms and seas. Oh yeah, boom, baby. I knew you would go far, wizard, since our first day together. It's not hard to imagine you teaching me one day soon, is it? Wizard, you've been more than an exemplary student. I know. You've been an inspiration. Oh yeah. And on a personal note, you've become a dependable friend. <laughs> Don't say more in your eyebrows. 
Don't say more. Uh, and make so, material. without further ado, I hereby pronounce you a graduate of the Ravenwood School of Magic. There's my pet. And honors, even. Woo! Oh, man, everyone. Even the Emperor is bowing to us. Lady of the Lake, oh, thank you. Thank you. Zeke, my man. Oh, no. Bartleby, what's wrong? What's wrong, Bartleby? You got the sniffles? Oh, God. What's wrong with him? Oh, dear. Well, that was certainly unexpected. And did you see Bartleby? I've never seen him quite so frightened. What's wrong with him? Mm. And there goes Professor Wu inside the world tree. Perhaps you should go and ask if she needs assistance. Whoa! I'd like to consult an old tome to see if I can discover the meaning of this. I'll be in my office. All right, maybe he'll reload me again, because why am I invisible? That's annoying. I'm still invisible. This is cool. Oh, man. Bartleby, does, Bartleby doesn't sound good at all. Where am I? What have I... Oh. So where am I capping down? No trade, no sale, no auction. Cool. I need to, like, eat all this. Goodness gracious. What happened? I don't know. It looks like that chill wind has made Bartleby sick. But how could that be? Well, he is, like, thousands of years old. Bartleby's been standing here strong and healthy ever since... Well, ever since the dawn of time. To see him sick, it worries me. That is a long time not to get a cold. Lucky him. Man, I get a cold like every month. I am ashamed to say, I don't even know what ails him. Maybe Bartleby himself knows what's wrong. Would you be a dear and go ask him? Sure, why not? Oh, that's so cool that we got the graduation graduation theme. So awesome. Oh, man. Why can't anything load? Yes, load Polaris for me. Please. Keep loading, keep loading. Well, load me. All right, Bartleby, let's go. <sighs> cold. Such a cold wind. Chills one right down to the roots. Bartleby reminds me of Treebeard. From whence did it come, though? That is the cause for concern. A far, far away feeling. Where land meets the sky. Sounds like a horizon. Oh, I do not feel well. Tell Ambrose, there is trouble where land meets the sky. Yes, where land meets the sky. <sighs> land meets the sky. What does that have to mean? What does that mean? Hmm. Maybe we'll find out from Merle Ambrose. Why am I still not loaded? Wait, one second. Let's see if I can... Reload me. Oh, what did I do? Oh, no! No! Come on! You gotta be... Ah! Why? Are you serious? Press play! Oh my goodness! Do I really have to wait? Ugh. How long is this gonna take? Alright. I'm gonna end it here. My wait, what? Wait, where's my other wizards? Where's my other wizards? These guys are working now. What? One second. Let's see what's happening?
I don't know what's going on. Go away, people. I might do some fishing on here. Fish in the new places, see if there's any new fish. Oh my goodness, what? There's my other wizard. What? What the heck? Oh. I don't know what's going on. <sighs> I wish I can click on these guys and do something. Ah, oh, my goodness. There's everyone. Hey, look at that. Me all graduated. That's cool. All right, it's all it's all uh, fixed now. We're all caught up. We can talk to Merle Ambrose now. Booyah! What does Merle Ambrose have to do? Oh man, we can't go back in there again. Ah uh, uh, yes, our new graduate. I'm so proud. Thank you. But uh, you look worried. Is everything all right? Apparently not. Bartleby, you know. Bartleby is sick. Well, nothing like this has ever happened. It's quite disturbing. It's chilling, even. That wind must have been very cold. What did Bartleby say, though? Hmm. Where land meets the sky. It sounds vaguely familiar. Perhaps something to do with Polaris. Hmm, Polaris. I still think Polaris should have been the last world of the second arc. But that's just my opinion. Polaris is one of the worlds that old Cobb mentioned, is it not? Yes. Oh dear. Yes, we need to look into this. We need we to destroy ask him. Professor Drake. Cyrus, of course. He spent some time in Polaris, as I recall. Go ask if Bartleby's words make any sense to him. We need to destroy that guy. What's his name? I don't know. But we need to destroy the guy. No, oh, I meant Cyrus. Yeah, we need to we need to destroy Cyrus. The Halloween event, Polaris up. Oh man, this is just a good time. The the Kitzel messenger is still there. Hmm, back for more applause. I'm all clapped out, I'm afraid. Ugh. Or is this something more serious? It's Bartleby, isn't it? Oh, you're so nice, Cyrus. You're still you're still so nice. Sick. How unexpected. Hmm. Where land meets the sky. Yes, that is a reference to Polaris. It lies at the very edge of the spiral, the horizon, as it were. Oh, there you go. Land meets meets the sky, the horizon. Ah. But why it would make Bartleby ill, I have no idea. Me neither. Perhaps there Me is neither. someone in Polaris who might know. An old witch. Baba Yaga! Baba Yaga, Woo! as she's called. She was Baba Yaga's... Uh, Bits of a recluse, hard to find. But she has a henchman, a former circus strongman, dubiously named Ivan the Great. Hmm. Quite a name to come from a circus person. And Baba Yaga seems very suspicious. Take the spiral door to Polaris. It leads to the capital, Walrusburg. Ask around for Ivan the Great. Hopefully he can lead you to Baba Yaga. Let's go to Warrisburg. Oh yeah. Oh crap. Let me get out of my graduation clothes. Eventually I become a, a graduate in high school. Oh yeah, it's fun. Nope, wrong gear, wrong gear. Yep, 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 yep. What the heck is that? They did not change it. But. There we go. We get it. Alright. Polaris! Oh, yes. The world we've all been waiting for. 
It's now the first world of the new arc. Yes, yes, I'm gonna have to buy it. Oh man, it's gonna be great. Ahem! Stop right there! Before you may proceed, you must hear the official welcome to Walruskberg. All right, Inspector F F Fonche. Fonse. On behalf of Her Most Grandioseness, Empress Antusket the First, I welcome you to Walruskberg, Crown Jewel of Polaris. Are you sure about that? Enjoy our glorious city, but abide by the rule of imperial law. No merrymaking, no fishing, no magic, no singing, and no leaving the city. We're quite a fun city. A curfew is in effect in some parts of the city from sundown to sunrise. This is a winter season, so the next sunrise is many months away. Oh, man. Really? A curfew? Also, in accordance with Law 3-1604, I must ask, what is your business in our fair city, Ivan? Ivan who? You mean Ivan the Terrible? That's wrong! Cyrus is Ivan the Great. Bah! Ivan is under arrest. That rabid beast nearly destroyed the inn of the Midnight Sun. Go see for yourself, if you must. I must, and I will. Oh man, all these, uh... Polar bears seem very, uh... Alright, let's look at these shoppers. Jewel shop. A jewel shop. This is pretty cool. That's new. And this is some new gear. Once again, the gear stinks. But, what do you want them to do? Beep, beep, beep. Alright. Press obey. Empress and Tusket. Quite the fascist, isn't she? Oh man. The inn is quiet, and you don't see any signs. The innkeeper looks frustrated, however, and he keeps glancing nervously at the door to the back room. Innkeeper Gorbu. Look, I don't want any more trouble. The inspectors told me to keep my mouth shut, so I'm not saying a word, not while they're here. If you have questions, you have to go back into the feasting hall and talk to Inspector Cluso. Alright, let's talk to Inspector Huda Huda. Alright, so we got any... Alright, I got plenty of spells. I'm good. Wait, do I have any... Uh, da, 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 da. Why not? We'll just heal in. Uh, no. No. Ah, Inspector... But what is this? Some kind of intruder? This is a crime scene intruder. By order of the Inspector's Brigade, you are under arrest! Ah, oh, really? Oh, you you dragged me in! That's not... Ah, oh. Me storm. Oh. oh whatever. He's gonna die anyway. Quite interesting music. Very like French revolutionist ish. I think that's where they went with that. Was he shadow? Oh man. Oh man. This is not gonna be good. Oh. Hopefully he doesn't get a shadow spell at all. Oh there we go. Pierce. Put that up. Doesn't have a lot of health. But then again, this is the first arc. Oh, really? Really? At all? Wow. At all that extra accuracy and whatnot. I get that. Yeah. Oh, great. Ah. Nope. I'll see that. I'm gonna pass. Alright, so the new storm spell is... Rasalka's Wrath. Attacks for 1352 or 1352 storm damage and applies a plus 25% damage buff or a minus 50% damage.
damage to next storm's spell. Seems like that that goes against you. I'm I'm assuming that's a 50/50 chance. It could be maybe like a 60/40. 60, 60 for the extra buff and then 40 for the minus 50. I uh, I don't know. Balance school nested fury attacks for 808 to 866 fire, ice, or storm damage to all enemies. So it's one of those three. So that's pretty cool. So if you're fighting all like ice enemies, it could hit all fire or all storm, but you never know. Let's go with Glowbugs, of course, because he's the man. Oh yeah. Always gotta go with Glowbugs, because he's he's just gonna own. He's just gonna do critical. I heard they changed the entire critical system, so I don't, I don't know what's gonna happen. Could could I kill him right now? That would be perfect. Ah, so close. Could you imagine? That'd be great. All right, so he might be hitting. Oh, never mind. So I'm good for now. Oh, he has two shadow... Oh, how many shadow pips can he get? That's not cool. Uh, life school Wings of Fate attacks all targets for 460 life damage and heals all teammates for 460 health over three rounds. So that's pretty cool. That's like combining like a meteor strike unless you put on like a, a, a colossal or something that buff it up and then having like unicorn heal you at the same time, so... It is kind of weak in a way, but it's it's the start of the new spells that we're gonna get from our uh, from these new trainers since we graduated uh, Ravenwood. Oh crap! What's gonna happen? So right here, the you can see that the the life like went down, like the life uh, like numbers are smaller. So they think we're gonna get like over like the amount that that we have n now, like we could get over like 10,000 life maybe, but a lot of people think that mostly would retain to uh, balance or ice schools, uh, school wizards, and I think that think so too, because storm would probably, you don't see a lot of storm with over 5,000 life or 4,000 life, it's uh, maybe 4,000 but not 5,000, not even close, so another critical man. Man, I'm hitting critical right now. Even after they changed the critical system. Oh man, he's dead. We'll regret this intruder. No, I, I won't. Never forget a face, especially when you stick your nose right in the middle of it. All right, let's talk to and keep a gobi. And I think I might end it here, but I'm gonna finish up uh, the uh, Death School Wing Sorrow tags for 735 da uh, to. 735 damage to 1,005 damage, uh, death damage, and has a chance to beguile the target. So that's all right, I guess. I wouldn't have went for beguile. Maybe an infection, but Clouseau may come back and hassle me later. But it was worth it just to see the look on his face. <laughs> oh, you're a friend of Ivan's, then? Oh, you've never met him. Don't listen to the inspectors. Ivan's the best Oski I know. This wasn't his fault. Oski. Polsky, all, all this, like, they're taken definitely off from, like, the French Revolution era. And everyone knew that once Napoleon was in Pirate 101. And I hope he comes up, but I'm not sure. Hopefully. The inspectors are to blame. They were roughing up some innocent penguins, and Ivan intervened. Uh, <laughs> Took dead inspectors to restrain him. Ah, uh, penguins, okay. Locked him up in the Bastille now, like ah, Bastille. else who steps French out Revolution, Even definitely. Packed like sardines. I can't imagine. Listen, though. You want to help Ivan out? You're no friend to the inspectors, so I'll tell you. Talk to Red Rosa at Lacombe's Press. All right. All right, guys. I think I'm going to end it here. This was a good start. Uh, f um, the next school, um, Shadow and Hand spells are six pips and... Plus one shadow pip. Obviously, now it's fire school attacks all enemies, which I'm glad about because fire really needed a new uh, attack all spell, and they didn't get one with the what was that uh, fire from above? 
which I really wish it would have been attack all. It was the perfect like style for attack all, but whatever. It's a so it's raging bull, 514 to 802 fire damage, and it applies minus 40 percent accuracy reductions to all enemies. So that's pretty cool. So it also say you have words that are valid will show up white. Words that are not allowed by the filter will show up. I know. For more details, go to the Wizard 101 website. Dude, I know. I know. Thank you. Ugh. Oh, what is that? The fire tray? And the ice school finally, Snowball Barrage, attacks for 800... F I mean, not 800, jeez. 85 ice damage per pip to all enemies. And it's plus a shadow pip. So, that's pretty cool. So, it's an X-pip shadow pip shadow infused spell. And that's pretty cool. It's like freaking... Tempest for Ice School, and that's awesome. Ice School really needed a spell like this. So, I can't wait to try this in live realm and try new spells, and I'm just very excited for the new arc. And see if we can see about old Cobb and his plans to destroy the spiral, and how how powerful he would be with the. T and he seems to be like Shadow itself. Uh, he he's like created shadow, um, magic. So you never know. All right, guys. See y'all later. Catch you next time. Bye bye. Burr.